Here are six differences between the desktop and mobile versions of Discord. Let's get started. Okay, so first up, did you know that on the mobile version of Discord, there's an extra way of paying someone as opposed to the desktop version? So we have our standard way of paying someone using their server nickname or their username. However, on mobile, you also have the added option of using their tag. So at the end of their name, mine was the hashtag 0009. As you can see, I can use that to ping myself. But on the desktop version, as you can see, if I type in the tag, it comes up with nothing. So on Discord, there are these code blocks, and you can actually use them to create color text. However, they only apply to the desktop version, as they're pretty much made using a programming languages, different programming languages. They're probably not compatible with most mobile phones, so that's... Yeah, the main reason, I'm assuming, but don't quote me on that. Alright, so on the desktop version of Discord, there are usually a lot of Easter eggs hiding around. So for example, the Discord room, where you press uh, the home button like 15 times. As you can see, you get that. Discord. Yeah, like that sound effect when you open Discord. There are other Easter eggs, such as, uh, let me think. I, I'm pretty sure another one is like when someone boosts the server, uh, the boost the shit's not here, so. Okay, okay, I found it. So, right here, as you can see, when you hover over the boost, you get like the confetti effect, which you obviously don't get on mobile. And plenty of us eat other Easter eggs that are like only on the desktop version, you can't find them on the mobile version. So on the mobile version of Discord, I can click on my name and then go to manage user and I can see the entirety of the role order even without manage role permissions. This is only on mobile and you can't view the role order without permissions on desktop. Alright, so here we are on the desktop version of Discord. If I go right click on my name tag and then I go to roles, as you can see, I cannot see the whole role order because I do not have the manage role permission to, to do so. Unlike on mobile, where you don't need manage role permission to see the role order, on desktop, you do need manage role permission to see the entirety of the role order. Last up, we have emojis in channel topic. So basically, if you're on the desktop of Discord, you can use emojis in the channel topic by first putting the backslash and then you can use any emoji including a uh, custom emoji and animated emojis if you put it in as you can see it converts it into the uh, emoji id if you want to learn more about this topic you can check out my video on discord developer mode in a nutshell so if we go into the channel topic and we paste it in a few times there we go leave and then now we check the channel topic and as you can see the emojis appear as emojis and the emojis in the channel uh, description only work on the desktop version, so they don't apply to the mobile version. Oh shit, so apparently it does work on mobile now. I guess my info is a bit outdated for this one. Alright, so on the desktop version of Discord, if you want to mark an image as a spoiler, it's relatively easy. First, just find an image and upload it, like so. And there's a button right here, which allows you to mark it as a spoiler. Nice and simple, just mark a spoiler and upload. However, on the mobile version of Discord, unfortunately, for some reason, they do not have this tick box at the bottom. So it's actually a lot more inconvenient to upload an image as a spoiler. If you're uploading like, I mean, if you're just sending a message and you want to mark it as a spoiler on both desktop and mobile, it's very easy, just like that, boom. But unfortunately, that does not work with images. So on mobile, you have to use another method, which I will show you right now. So here I uploaded an image, and as you can see, it did not come up with the spoiler prompt when I uploaded it. So I'll show you the way to make it a spoiler. The way to do it is to go into your gallery and find the image. After you find the image, you have to go edit it, change its name. So just edit the name in whatever, in however you do it with your device. And at the front, add a spoiler and an underscore. So if you do that, save it. Now go back, and if you upload it, it will now come up as a spoiler. So just wait for it to finish uploading. 
Oh, okay, it's done. So now it's spoiler tag. I'm pretty sure this only works on Android. I'm not too sure. It might not work on iOS, but here it is. And that's all, folks. Here's a summary of everything covered throughout the video. If you enjoyed or learned something new, consider giving a like or a sub. All right, that's it. See you later.